Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The RD-180 main engine and four solid rocket boosters ignite to lift ULA's Atlas V rocket away from the pad. Together, the main engine and SRBs generate a combined liftoff thrust of two and a quarter million pounds, or about 10 meganewtons. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound at 35 seconds. One minute, 51 seconds into flight, the first two GEM-63 solid rocket boosters are jettisoned. The remaining two are jettisoned about two seconds later. Approaching payload fairing jettison, the Atlas V rocket is burning propellant at a rate of 1,700 pounds or 790 kilograms per second, traveling more than 7,600 miles or 14,200 kilometers per hour, and located 64 miles or 119 kilometers in altitude and 146 miles or 270 kilometers downrange. During ascent, the spacecraft is protected inside a five meter diameter payload fairing. This two-piece shell encapsulates both the Centaur upper stage and the spacecraft. At approximately three minutes, 30 seconds, the rocket is climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere and the payload fairing is jettisoned. At four minutes, 23 seconds, propellant levels are depleted and the main engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At four minutes, 39 seconds, the first Centaur main engine burn begins. Over the span of more than three and a half hours, Centaur's RL-10 main engine will perform three engine burns. Within this sequence, the second burn is used to raise the apogee to a near geosynchronous altitude. Three hours, 28 minutes, 28 seconds after liftoff, the RL-10 engine ignites for a final burn. This burn enables Centaur to slightly increase the perigee altitude and make a plane change towards its final separation orbit. Nearly one minute, 40 seconds later, Centaur completes its final engine cutoff following a guidance commanded shutdown, a capability which ensures precise orbit injection. Three hours, 32 minutes, 56 seconds after liftoff, ULA Centaur releases the GOES-T satellite to geosynchronous transfer orbit, where it will provide NOAA and NASA with continuous imagery and atmospheric measurements of Earth's western hemisphere, lightning detection and mapping, solar imaging, and space weather monitoring.